Anyone who loves soul, blues and R&B and who's lived in New Zealand for more than a little while will know the name Rick Bryant. A big man with a big voice and a big love of music. And amongst the musicians he loved and studied and was inspired by Aretha, of course. I'd been about 21, I suppose, 22, um, before I went from a sort of casual listen to a particular track on a particular jukebox in a particular greasy spoon restaurant that I used to go to when I was drunk. But before I started playing her albums again and again and again mm. and realising that I was, <clears throat> in effect, studying her, well, everything about it. I mean, I, I, was, I was playing music to enjoy it, but also I was absorbing important singing lessons at the, at the same time. And uh, the more I listened, the more I got addicted. And um, I, I got to the point where I knew every lick of every song. It, 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 to me, it was never a question of any mystery about why I liked her so much. It was, she just seemed to be clearly the best. This is a ridiculous question because you won't have one. But if there is one Aretha Franklin song that that you were going to say to our audience... Listen to this because well, this is. Well, it's one called "Didn't I Blow Your Mind This Time." Didn't I blow your mind this time? Didn't I? Yes, you did.